What's going on, guys? My name is Millennial Rebel, and welcome to a mod mashup showcase for Simple Storage Networks and Compact Storage. So, today, we will be going through how to set up a Simple Storage Network, and also how to integrate the Compact Storage mod into it so that you can have tons of storage in a single block. Now, the Simple Storage Network, in order to get one set up, you do need a storage inventory, at least, and a storage network root. Now the storage inventory, you can go ahead and search that real quick because I didn't put up a recipe for it. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and search for the storage inventory. And that just takes a dropper, some iron nuggets, and these network cables. Now the network cables are fairly simple to make. They are right here. It's a couple iron and some stone slabs. Super simple, and that gets you eight of them. So you need four to make the storage network root, and then you can make this thing and put it just on top like this, and that's how you do it. And then if you want to craft inside there, you need this storage request table, which takes your inventory thing there, put it in the center, crafting tables and gold. Easy peasy, all super easy stuff to set up. But we're actually going to go ahead and look down here for a second, because you do need these link cables. This is for a basic link cable. There's no filtering, no other stuff like that. It's just a chest and four of the regular cables, and that gets you four link cables. But if you really need to, you, if you if you go ahead and do the link cables that are purple, these filtered link cables, which take an observer with four of these, these actually allow you to set priority and to filter items out. This It's this guy right here. If you right click on it, you can put filters in here and change the priority so that whenever you put stuff into your storage network, it'll choose that one first, second, last, whatever you decide. If you make this smaller, the lower the number is, the that's where it's going to go first. So if this one's at, say, negative 5, and then you have one down here. These are actually two other ones, but say this is a link cable, you have one down here and put that at 0. This one will get filled first, and then this one. This here is actually a filtered import cable, which you can use to bring stuff into your system from other chests. They're pretty cool. And if you right click on these, you can set different things in here. Like I got a ton of this stuff in the chest. And right now I have it set to the ignore list, so it won't pull those out. But if you hit allow list, it'll take everything out of this chest and it should move it into this chest. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so that's actually bringing stuff into the system because technically right now, this is the only thing that we have linked to our system sitting right here. So if I go ahead and look here and delete that, <laughs> We have the export cables coming in, and that number should be going up. Unless we ran out. It's bringing in the red ones. Oh, yeah, the red ones are going up now. But yeah, that's actually bringing it from this chest into this chest, because like I said, this is the only piece of storage that we have. Now, this is one of the compact chests. This is just the basic one that I set here. And this is what they start off as. But also down here, we have this little guy. Not the bedrock. We have the export cable which is used to take stuff out of your system. Like say you had a farm and you needed to supply it with bone meal, you use one of these export cables into a chest and it'll take it out. I do have it set to red, requires redstone. So if I go ahead and click this, it should start putting them from our system into there. So those green guys should be going down in here. They might be going down and up because there's a ton of them in here. But like I said, these export ones, you use it to take stuff out of your system, import cables into your system. And the purple guys are to connect up inventories. So, if we go down here, there's also storage remote, which, if we go ahead and take a look here, get rid of some of this stuff, you got the storage remote, and there is, let's see, why did that not show up? This guy right here, the crafting remote. So this crafting remote, if you take it, and the storage remote too, if you take these and you right click, or shift right click, yeah, shift right click, on your storage network route, It'll connect to your storage and you have and allows you to give you wireless inventory access. Now, if you do the crafting remote, you have wireless crafting access. So the crafting remote is a little better to get into, but it also is a little more expensive. This is a storage remote. It takes one of these storage network routes, just some gold slime balls and glowstone dust, nothing crazy. The crafting remote, however, takes prismarine lanterns and gold blocks and an ender chest and the storage network route, which is weird. I don't know why it's prismarine, but what can you do? So anyways, we're going to come down here. I'm going to show you guys how to get one of these big guy, little guys set up so that we can go into the compact storage. 
and show you how to do all that. So we'll take all this out of here. These are just the basic link cables because I don't know why I have just the basic link cables. I thought I put the other purple cables in there. I would have been faster just to grab it out of my inventory or out of creative, but whatever. I'll run down here and grab it. So when you go to set one of these up, you need some type of storage, like a chest or a barrel or whatever. You need the storage network root. You put that down first. I always put the storage request table on top. I don't believe you have to. Give me these. Then you just take a network cable. It can come off at any one of these sides. So if we put network cables here, and then we do a link cable, and link cable, not there, and a link cable, we can actually go ahead and put these chests right next to it. And this will actually add to your inventory. Now with the chests, you cannot put the link cable or anything above it at all. Because even these link cables are considered solid blocks to these compact chests. And I'm not sure why, but if I put that up there, I can no longer open this chest. So don't do that. But if we go ahead and put the right link cables on there, because I'm a dingus, put the right link cables on there, we can actually go ahead and set these priorities. So if we put this down to five and go ahead and throw some stuff in here, we'll go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. It all should be in this chest. Sure is. We'll go ahead and take it back out. And we'll change the priority of this one to say negative 10. You can actually just do like one. I usually go big because then it saves your space. Because then you know which one is going into first. Then you can do it by fives or twos or ones. Whatever you want. But whatever, like I said, whatever number is the lowest here is the one that will go into. So yeah, now they're in here. You can also with these... You can filter stuff. So say you don't want your network cables to go into this chest, but you want them to go into this chest. Set the priority to negative nine, and we can do an, an allow list and put that in there. And now if we do this, ignore list, put that in there. It should ignore those cables and put them in the other chest. So, yep, there they are in the chest. So yeah, like I said, it's just, these ones are a lot better. They're a little, I guess they're a little more expensive, but not really if you think about it. But they're a lot more useful, because then like I said, you can set priority. But if you don't want to set priority, and you just want to have a blob of chests, you can come in here in my little house here. Look at all these items. These, this is in my house, but what I did, make it all hidden and compact, back here you can see the cables come down into this little room i in the super flat world so i didn't have a lot of space to work with down there but come on go down the ladder thank you these are all barrels and each one of these barrels with no upgrades holds 27 stacks this whole room is 945 stacks you can hold in this room and behind the barrels like i said i just have the link cables i just put basic link cables in here because i don't really care which one it goes into first Barrels are definitely your better option for a storage room like this because they're more compact and you don't have to worry about stuff being on top of them. You can still open them if you need to. But this is, like I said, 945 stacks we'll store in this room with these barrels. And the barrels are super easy to make because it's just iron and wood. So iron and two iron and a couple bits of wood will get you a barrel. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's only 22 per side 22 iron and some wood per side so that's not too bad 66 iron basically for this whole room yeah well 70 it's 70 because i didn't count this one these ones have extras but yeah it's 70 iron and you can have a whole storage room that'll hold 945 stacks of items but if you want to go really crazy we can come up and go out here and check out this little area over here because this is a storage network storage network root and we have the cables, the link cables. These barrels are empty. Then we have the regular link cables. If I click on this, backspace, 18,432 diamonds in one chest. That is absolutely wild. This chest, to make, takes one full stack of iron. <laughs> That's it. A full stack of iron because you do need to make these upgrades. These upgrades here are storage row upgrade is nuggets with iron on the top and bottom and storage column upgrade is nuggets with iron on the left and right and these storage upgrades we go to the compact storage mod you right click on this and this one 
And all you got to do is take these and right-click them on one of the chests or the barrels. Like I said, I recommend barrels. They're better. But you just right-click them. And this, uh, the column upgrades, you can do nine, um, nine upgrades, and that'll give you all the columns. And then this one here, you can put 15 row upgrades. And that's max. And like I said, this chest over here is maxed out. And like I said, being maxed out, it holds 18,432 stackable items. Or 288 other items like bows or fishing rods or whatever. So these actually wouldn't be a bad idea for like a fish farm or something. But like I said, in my opinion, the barrels are better because the same amount of upgrades holds the same amount. But they're stackable like this and they're very compact. So if we go around to here and check out some of this other stuff to make the compact chest, it's literally just iron nuggets around a chest, not even a full piece of iron gets you a compact chest. In the old compact chest mod, they actually had a little table that you used and it took clay and fences and iron and all sorts of stuff. But now super simple recipe to make a compact chest. And if you want to make it colored, you just, you can replace this nugget with a die of your choice. Or once it's already sitting on the ground, you just take the die and right click on it. And so I've got these purple and the blue barrels and the orange chests and stuff. But in order to make a barrel, like I showed the recipe already, it's two iron and some planks and slabs. Super cheap. And you put a die in the middle. If you want it to be white, you just don't leave a die here. Or same thing, you can just right click on it with the die. But we went through the upgrades. And this compact storage also adds in these compact backpacks. Which are a little more expensive. They take wool and four iron and a chest. But these hold quite a bit as well. As of right now... Just basic. It's a regular chest inventory. But if you take this and you put these in your offhand, whichever one you want to use, you just put it in your offhand and right click. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope, nope, wrong one. That's the nine one. So now if we take those out of our offhand and right click, now we've got a bunch of that in there. So we just move the other ones, put it in our offhand, put 15 of them puppies in there, and that's how you upgrade your backpack. So if we take that out, and now this is our backpack that is portable storage. We can carry 18,432 items on us. So that's pretty wild. This compact storage mod is epic. I love it. We can get rid of all this stuff. Put it away. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much the whole setup. I mean, like I said, we went through link cables and how to actually set up the storage. Nothing compared to setting up a fine storage. It's literally just a couple blocks and some link cables, and you're good to store 18,000 items in one spot if you'd like. Go with the barrels. Barrels are better. 18,000 items, stackable. Chests, you put cable on the top. And you can't open it. But anyways, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. I'll let you, and goodbye.